Hi folks, Neil back here again with another video. I know it's been a while since my last one with the Planetary series. Sorry about that. I did have a video planned, but things fell through with it. This does kind of tie in with the other videos though, in that I'm going to talk about a movie. I first saw this movie during Lost Weekend at Alamo Draft House in Winchester, Virginia. Going into the weekend, this was one of the movies I was most excited about, and it was actually one of the last movies that they showed. In fact, I think it was the last movie that they showed that weekend, and it did not disappoint. If you're a fan of comedy horror in the vein of Ghostbusters or Shaun of the Dead or The Frighteners, I think you're going to like this movie. It's funny. It's It's got good effects all the way through. I know you can buy or rent this on iTunes right now. I would imagine it's also on Prime, though I haven't checked that, but you should look it up and check it out. The movie is called Extraordinary. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. After watching this movie, I went, I followed the page on Facebook because I wanted to know when it was coming out to the general public. And at one point, they posted uh, a picture of a bunch of cardboard boxes with Extraordinary on the outside and said, keep watching for details on how to get one of these. Long story short, this arrived in the mail just the other day. Now I've had this for like two days already, and as much as I wanted to tear into it, I waited until I could record this. So I, I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm gonna tear into this. All right, are you, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna tear into it. We're gonna go through what's in it together. I have, I don't even have any predictions on what is in this box. I, I have no idea what they're gonna send. It is from the film company, so I'm assuming a lot of promotional pieces, a lot of things branded uh, that may or may not make sense to the movie. But I'm hoping for some really cool stuff in here. All right, all right, are we ready for this? I'm gonna set this right here. I'm gonna open it and take a look. Can you see my face? Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. There are several things that are already catching my attention. Um, I don't know. I don't know what order I want to do this in because this is really, this is cool. I am very excited about this. Okay, I'll do. I'll do this first because it's kind of something I was expecting, and and it's here, just in that, you know, film studios do uh, mini posters. It's the basically the movie poster only it's a small version and easy to frame and hang up uh, possibly get autographed at some point maybe um, awesome that is definitely going on my wall somewhere I'll find a place for it uh, that's kind of cool uh, so I, I don't want to tell you a lot about this movie because I don't want to give things away but but the main character uh, on the end there she teaches a driving school so it looks like that's going to have some uh, bearing on a couple of the things in here. So that I, I guess I have to tell you that for anything to make sense. So, of course, rosesdrivingschool.com. This item is haunted. Sticker. Uh, I guess you could put this on anything. It's not necessarily a bumper. So I was, I was going to say bumper sticker at first, but you could put it pretty much anywhere. I kind of, I wouldn't hate that on my car, though. Um... Oh, it's got a phone number on there too, and it's not a five five five. I wonder. Oh, I am. I'm calling that. I. I don't have an, a phone other than my iPhone, so I can't record me calling. I. I will be calling that number. I already held it up a couple times. If you want to try to call it, go ahead. Um, I'll. After I get done recording this, I'll call it. I'll leave a thing at the end of the video to say whether or not it's worth calling because uh, you don't want to call it if it's just stupid. But um, if, if, it, if that number actually is something, I'll let you know. I won't spoil it. I'll just let you know whether or not to call it. So cool sticker. That could even go, you know where that could go? Um, so I don't, I, I didn't mention this in any of my previous videos. So if you don't know me, you probably don't know. I am kind of a Ghostbusters cosplayer. Uh, I have a group here in my hometown. Uh, we all dress up. We all have the equipment. We go out. Uh, one of the guys even has a really cool car. Haven't done a lot with them this year, mainly because of COVID. That is something I'm hoping to get a little more into this year, this coming year. 
because uh, we used to we used to do birthday parties, parades, conventions, whatever. Um, we would just we would get invitations to go to these things if we go and we'd have a great time. Anyway, the point is I have a, a proton pack. This might look really cool across the proton pack, or yeah, no, that that might be where I put that. Okay, um, a terrifying gift from the extraordinary, a gravel. 100% guaranteed haunted, imported all the way from Ireland. It is it is an Irish movie. It was made in Ireland, I believe. Uh, warning, may cause extreme fear. That's, that is a gravel in, in the baggie there. That is a gravel. Uh, Astonish and Amaze Your Friends contains one piece possessed gravel, not for resale. Do not swallow unless you want demons to enter you. No, I do not want that. Do not uh, exercise with a professional, without a professional, may contain mild traces of demon. Uh, that, I like that. That's pretty good. All of this stuff, really, it's going on display with my Ghostbusters stuff, seriously. Uh, looks like a postcard. Uh, I don't know if you'd call that a postcard. It's not, it's like a lobby card, a theater card. Yeah, a lobby card. I worked at a theater for several years. You'd think I would know the name of, uh, it's a lobby card. Uh, it's got the kind of the poster of this thing on the front, and it's got information about the movie on the back. Um, another piece that uh, is pretty cool. I got some ectoplasm. Contains ectoplasm. Ingestion may result in unwanted ghostly possession. Uh, that's that's pretty awesome. That's it's branded. It's got their little logo on it. But that's pretty. Again, this could go in my uh, Ghostbusters display. That's pretty cool. It's all stuck up in the in the lid, but I think that's because it was traveling like this. I think if I let it rest for a while, it might come back down. So let's do that. Um, the last the last thing I'm seeing in here. It's the biggest item. It was the first thing that caught my eye, and um, again, I kind of felt I had to give away that bit in the story of she's a driving instructor because it is a T-shirt. It is for Extraordinary. It's only a large, damn. I, in case you can't tell, am a larger man. Anyway, it's it's a very cool um, design on the shirt. It's a car, it says Rose on the top, and it's got a bunch of ghosts coming out from, from it in every which direction. I like that. I like that. I am going to fold that back up, and I believe that's it other than a bunch of, yeah, packing material. But it was awesome. I appreciate everything in there. It's all going to go up somewhere on display. If you get a chance to see this movie, I highly recommend it. Again, I think it's on iTunes. I'm pretty sure it's available on Amazon. Just go check it out. I think you'll like it. Again, if you, if you like the movies like Ghostbusters, Shaun of the Dead, those type of horror comedies, uh, it's you're going to enjoy it. All right, I'm going to go put some of this stuff away. And then, oh, I got to call that phone number. I'm going to do that and come back and let you guys know whether or not it's worth it. Hey, guys. So I just got done calling that number on the bumper sticker. And unfortunately, it's just a busy signal. I don't know if there ever was or will be something associated with this phone number. But for right now, that's it. Uh, okay. Have a good day.